So today I'm doing a little non-wrestling video. I want to concentrate on a book signing that I recently attended. Met one of my all-time favorites in the music industry. I'm a huge music fan. And I've always oddly been a big fan of the Spice Girls. They were one of my favorites. Um, I even went to their reunion tour. I believe that was 2007. I went to the United Center Chicago one. A uh, fantastic show, but always been a fan. Uh, my favorite was always a Jerry Hollowell Horner, also known as Ginger Spice. And I've read her, uh, two of her previous books, her autobiography, just really outstanding look at uh, behind the scenes of the music industry and being such a huge influential group and uh really enjoyed that so she had another book coming out called rosie frost and the falcon queen and did a book signing near chicago in downers grove illinois and this was at the tivoli theater it's a venue um held, i'd say around 400 people big auditorium it was a movie theater but this was like a really big kind of kind of theater um uh, venue uh crowd was very full very enthusiastic a lot of spice girls t-shirts uh people cosplaying as ginger spice uh the people were super cool there was just a vibe that was just all love i mean it was uh really cool to be around people who were big big fans as well Jerry came out promptly a little bit after seven, the scheduled seven o'clock start time, and she did a Q and A before. There was a host who asked her questions about the book. It was all focused on the book, uh, the process that she goes through to write and come up with the characters, that type of thing. Very interesting. Uh, they did answer some fan submitted written questions. Didn't talk to anyone live, um, but it was all focused on the book, and it was very interesting and. There was no Spice Girls talk, which I thought was a little bit disappointing. I think the fans kind of wanted to hear a little bit about the Spice Girls, some behind the scenes stuff there, but we didn't get that. And no one was outwardly disappointed, but it, that would have been a cool touch. Uh, after that, it went about 45 minutes, and then they started the book signing portion of the evening, and that was very orderly, very well done. They called people in groups, so you didn't have to stand the whole time. You could just wait till your group was called. Uh, they did let kids go first, which was a nice touch if you you know want to get your kids home and sleep and everything, so that was pretty cool to let them go first. And we, I made my way through the line eventually. Uh, I think I was like something like 111 or something like that. And I was getting very nervous to see someone who you you know admire and you're a big fan of. And as per usual for these type of things, I don't really say much. Just maybe I'm a big fan or nice to meet you or something like that. I vague it was such a brief interaction I just don't even recall but she was very nice uh, signed all the stuff I had they had a deal where for an extra $30 you could get an extra book and an extra piece of merchandise signed so I had two books signed I had a tour program from the reunion tour signed and I also had the uh, 25th anniversary vinyl album signed as well. So I was, we took the picture also. I always hate the lean over the table pictures, but you know what can you do? You take what you can get. Uh, my only wrestling tie-in for this is that I did have on a London themed pro wrestling tees t-shirt, which you can't really tell in the photo, but always you know keeping it real with the wrestling. So did manage to have a wrestling tie in there but she was very nice in our brief interaction and everything very personable um so overall i would call it a success i had a fun time got to meet one of my all-time favorites uh, i was very cost efficient like to even get in and see the q a and stuff was only like 40 bucks and then the add-on was like 30 so that was pretty cool i have not read the book yet but uh it's a Kind of looks like a kind of adventure type deal, but I'm sure it's very good. It did make the New York Times bestseller list. I'm not saying I was the cause of that. I'm not saying I wasn't the cause of it either, but uh, so it seems to have done very well. So it was a good evening. If she does a book signing in your area, I would highly encourage you to go to it. So that's going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching.